Welcome back to the channel. This video is looking at Unit 2 of Environmental Science, which is looking at ecosystems and the environment and ecology. And this is the large project, which is the Biogeochemical Cycles Project, where the students are in groups of three or four, depending on the size of the classroom. And their task is to create on a single piece of tracing paper each cycle within the biogeochemical cycles. So this one is the phosphorus cycle and they have to research and collect all, this, all the information and design their own cycle on a single piece of tracing paper which lays over a foundation of basically the terrestrial, oceanic and atmospheric components of the Earth's spheres. So they're going to draw over this information on the tracing paper. So this is my version of like a teacher key, which I'll use for a rubric and any kids can use if they need to for some quick refresher information if they miss anything. So I start with the terrestrial sink and pool in the rock layers and also in the soil and the biomass and look at the different variations of phosphorus and phosphate ions in the soil and the bacteria and the movement between the inorganic and organic phosphorus. looking at uplift as a very common aspect and element to add in these cycles, looking at the uh, weather and erosion component of the soil erosion, the movement through the water cycle into the oceanic sinks, looking at the phosphorus mineral group in the rocks, looking at apatite as the main mineral or the ore for phosphorus, looking at the no or no atmospheric component being a part of this phosphorus cycle. Now there is a tiny little bit of dust and sea spray that gets into the atmosphere, but mostly it's the terrestrial components and sinks and the oceans. So looking at the eutrophic zone right here, looking at the function and mechanism and presence of phytoplankton and the phosphate ion and any kind of dissolved phosphate and also the burial flux which is very important and weather and erosion. So this cycle is the phosphorus cycle and it's one of five cycles we're doing in this project and the students can create their own and then analyze this in the second part of the project where they have to connect and interlink all these different cycles together. 